Hey YouTube, Bernard here from Weekly How and welcome back to <coughs> Water. Hey YouTube, Bernard here from Weekly How and welcome back to another part of Shopify app tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can create custom files like template files for your Shopify stores or for the Shopify stores that installed your Shopify app. But before we start, I'd like to thank you all, all of you for supporting this series and for taking the time to watch and read our tutorials about Shopify app development. I actually didn't expect that a lot of developers are actually interested about Shopify app since this niche is, I believe, is quite small compared to other niches like game development. But regardless, I'd like to thank you all for supporting. So yeah, all right, let's head back to our topic. For this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create files using theme API and assets API. So as you can see here in our development store, we don't have anything. We have we just have the, the example app installed in our weekly how development store. So if you don't have your app set up yet, I highly recommend you watch the previous videos that we uploaded in this channel. I'll put the link or the playlist in the description. So be sure to check them out before proceeding to this part. So, okay, let's take a look at our code. Over here, we have the template that we used in our previous tutorials. And the first thing we're going to do is to access the theme, the current theme that the Shopify store is currently using. To do that, we need to use Theme API. If you don't know what Theme API is, that's an API from Shopify that lets you access all the themes in the store so if you don't know themes can have more than one theme for example they have debut they have costumes uh shopify themes stuff like that so we need to check all those themes which one is currently being used i apologize for that that's my phone let's proceed let's create a new variable let's call it theme and let's use the function inside our functions.php let's call it shopify call and then over here we use the token and then the shop variable and then the api you know the, the point so we'll use admin slash um api slash 2020 this is the latest version of shopify api and then the next is the themes that json you have to make sure this is plural okay not singular and then the next one is an array Let's close that. Then my monitor is kind of like messing with me. Then I have to use get instead of put instead of delete. And then after this, we have to get the response from this function. So let's use the same variable and then use something like JSON decode. Thanks for that. Sublime. And then let's use theme and then response. Response. And then next one is JSON pretty print, I believe. I'm not sure. I think you can actually just get rid of this. Just put an argument of it's a response. I'm not sure, but I am so used of adding JSON pretty print in my codes. So yeah, the next thing is to loop through all this, all the theme inside our Shopify store. To do that, we're going to use for each. And then apply the theme variable and then s cur theme and then let's just close that the reason why we're doing this instead of theme as cur themes and then just pass like key value then we're not going to do that because this is an array another array because if we take a look at, at the not asset but it's the theme yeah, I'll also put the, those links in the description, especially from the API from Shopify documentation. So if you take a look at the response, we have an array, and inside that array, another set of array, and the values. These are the values. That's why we're doing it like this way. For each, and then theme, which is the, the response, and then we pass the, car, we pass the value, the next array, into this array. So current theme is basically this variable. And that's why the next for each, we're just gonna use for each and then just copy this and just pass it over there. So current theme, which is the themes, and then the key is this key, 
over here. So this is the first key, and then the value is this values. Make sense? I hope so. I'm really bad at explaining things through videos. But yeah, so if we use these values, for example, let's just, you know, uh, pass this value to another set of variables. So let's say theme ID, this value, and then ID, like that. And let's just, let's just actually echo the value, theme ID. So if we save this code and go back to our Shopify app, we should be able to see the value of the current theme. There you go. So this is the value of the theme ID. Really cool. So as you can see over here, this is the ID and we showed ID. Cool, cool. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is to actually check if the current theme is the main theme that the store is currently using. So to do that, we have to use something like uh, the role. So let's create a new variable. Let's call it theme. Theme role is equal to value role. There we go. And then after that, we have to check if theme role is equal to main. If the value of theme role is main, that means that we're using the main theme. We're using the debut the debut theme. <laughs> okay. All right. So, sorry, my tongue is a little bit twisted these days. Um, now that we have the main theme, we have to, uh, maybe let's just display, uh, we're using, um, we are using um, it's just a value the name as our main theme like that there you go so we are using debut as our main theme over here we're using the debut and yeah, it just confirmed to us that, yeah, we're using debut as our main theme. That's really, really cool. Okay, now that we have our main theme selected, the next thing we're going to do is to use the current theme and to insert or to import or to create a new file for our current theme. So how are we going to do that? To do that, we have to use another API and that is the assets that API. As you can see over here, we have asset API. So as you can see, we need to access first the theme before we can create or we, before we can customize the files inside our theme. So as you can see, here we have the get and then get endpoints and then the put that we can also delete, but we're just going to focus on the put endpoint. As you can see over here, we have to for the endpoint, we have to import the theme ID before we can access the assets. So right over here, we can actually create a new file using this endpoint. So if we use this endpoint, the result will be something like, oh, an asset and then the key and then the value. So I believe the key is the folder and then the name of the file that you want to create. And then the value is what's inside this file. Makes sense. And then the templates, it's actually the folder. The templates, you can change the to sections, snippets, assets, config. And yeah, if you want to change it, you can do that. All right, so let's actually use this endpoint, shall we? All right, let's go back to our script. Over here, once we check if the current theme is the main theme, we have to create something like asset is equal to uh, Shopify call and then token, then shop, and then the endpoint, which is this one. Now we have the ID, let's just replace this, just concatenate that theme ID over here. Actually, it's wrong, it's not supposed to be in here, it's supposed to be in here. Because we have to make sure that the ID is from the main theme. All right, so now, now that we have all that set, all right, so the next thing is the array. We have to create a new array over here. But for that, let's just use put there. All right, so the array, we have to create that. Let's create over here asset file. And then let's create array. 
and just do that. And then over here, let's just create another array because this is a two-dimensional array. So the first array is the asset, and then the second array would be the key and the value. All right, so let's do that. Over here, we have we should have key, and then it's a value. There's no space over there. And then comma, not semicolon. Be careful. And then value, and the value. All right, so the key, we can actually just change this or just use templates.index.liquid or no, because index.liquid does, I believe it's already over here. So you can see index.liquid is already existing. So if we do it, if we do it like index.liquid, it will replace what's inside our index.liquid. So we have to make sure you have to be really careful with that. So instead of index at liquid, we change it to weekly how, weekly how, liquid or whatever you want. You can just change it whatever you want. Or for the templates, you can just change this to sections. Sample sections like that. Value. And then the value is actually HTML or whatever text you want to apply here. You can add liquid codes, uh, short codes. You know, like as long as it can, uh, as long as the Shopify can read what's inside the script, it's really important. Otherwise, you have issue, or the store will have issues. So yeah, just be careful. Codes are really, really sensitive. All right, so over here we can just either just display a header one over here. Just display hello world that and if we save it and just use this actually we have to apply the variable over here there you go i think that's good and then the next one is we have to make sure we have the response asset no we have to use json the code and then asset then response and then json pretty print there you go Actually, there's two keys over here, the response and then the header. If you want to access your header, you can change it to response. You can change instead of response to header. But no, we need response for, for this one, not header. So yeah, I'm just saying. So if we save it, we should be able to create our file. So we have to refresh this just to run the code. And after that, if we refresh this, our files, Weekly how that liquid should be inside the section folder. As you can see, we don't have it here because we were not creating that inside the template folder. Inside the section, we have. <laughs> oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Um, okay, actually, I think we made a mistake over there. I don't know what's wrong. Foundation now, it's in here. <laughs> it should be. B, instead of that, it should be asset. My bad. Really, my bad. Found it. There you go. Yeah, because of this one. See, asset. Because this is another array. Yeah. My bad. Okay, so asset should work now. There you go. Now it's created. And if we refresh this as well should be able to see in the sections that there is weekly how there you go now it's working so there you have it that's actually how you can create template files using theme api and assets api if you have more questions let me know in the comments below and i'll try my best i'll try we'll try our best to respond to all of you guys and yeah i guess i have to say sorry for not being able to communicate or not being able to upload content as much as i could in this uh in this channel because yeah we're quite busy i don't want to ex you know like make excuses for that but yeah this coming next few weeks we'll try our best to upload more content in this channel so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next time bye